Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thank you for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today is the start of my series on hot water systems and I'm going to start with what I have at my house which is a heat pump. Now this is a heat pump by Sandon which is a Japanese company. It's a split system, it comes with this unit which sits in my backyard and then a hot water tank which sits in my garage. It's really quiet, I can barely hear it when it's on uh, and it's on at night time and it doesn't annoy the neighbours because it's so quiet. You've actually got to go up really close to hear it, um, if at all, because it's a very low hum. Um, I had to get the system six years ago because my hot water system at the time when I bought this place uh, was showing signs of aging and rusting uh, and wearing around um, where the pipes were entering the hot water tank. It was a fully electric system and uh, so I opted for Sandon, which cost me at the time $3,500. $3,500, uh, that included a government rebate, um, included installation with plumbing and electricity, a removal of my old hot water tank, and fully installed with no more to pay. And these are in Australian dollars, of course, let me just remind you. Now, before I had the system, my old hot water system, I was using 10 kilowatt hours per day. That was the old. With the new system, I'm now currently using three kilowatt hours per day. Of course it uh, varies across the year but uh, looking at all my bills over the years that's on average three kilowatt hours per day. So what's the difference? The difference is of course seven kilowatt hour difference. Now here in New South Wales we're paying currently 18.7 cents per kilowatt hour for hot water. So uh, 18.7 cents per kilowatt hour times seven. We are saving $1.31 per day. So I guess the question is, how many days do you have to use this system to recoup the cost of that initial investment of $3,500? Well, let's try that out. Divided by $1.31 per day. You do the maths, it becomes 7.3 years. At today's electricity prices, of course, if the price of electricity does go up, which it likely will over the next few years, then that payback time will certainly decrease. So what's the return on your investment after seven and a half years? If you're saving $1.31 every day, then you are saving $478.15 per year. That means your return on investment is 13.7% after 7.3 years. So there it is, there are the figures. Initial outlay with $3,500. It's saving me $1.31 per day because I'm saving 7 kilowatt hours of electricity per day, paying 18.7 cents per kilowatt hour. It'll take me seven and a half years to pay back this system and I'm saving $478 per year thereafter, which means my return is 13.7%. That's my Sandon system. The only caveat to this is that the warranty was three years when I first bought the system. That obviously concerned me at the time. Uh, it's been six years and there's been no issues so far. Uh, I've never had to call someone out to have a look at it or fix anything for that matter. So, so far so good, fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll keep my family with hot water for a long time to come. We're gonna keep reviewing hot water systems Leave a comment below, uh, tell me what you think about uh, all my calculations and uh, if you've got a hot water system like mine, uh, if it's a heat pump, let me know your experience too, I'd love to hear from you. Well thank you for watching, it's a lovely day here in Sydney, uh, it's a nice cool day but the sun is still out. Have a lovely day where you are and as always, happy charging. Hey thanks for watching and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe, we would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!